Well, he has returned to continue his legendary career. Big man with big intentions. The following contest is a no holds barred match. Making his way to the ring, representing the OC by way of Tokyo, Japan. Weighing in at 292 pounds, Luke Gallows. Here comes the enforcer of the OC. Six foot eight of pure hate. One of the best big men the WWE Universe has ever seen. He's earned a ton of tag titles, looking to repeat the same success on his own. Oh, it's going to be fun seeing Chad Gable back here at NXT. And his opponent representing the Alpha Academy from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable. Chad Gable, proven ability to teach and lead as the head of the Alpha Academy. Not someone you want to take lightly, despite his catchphrases. Now, we've seen this guy deadlift men more than double his size on multiple occasions. Gable's more than proven he's a legitimate threat in that ring. And there's only one rule in a no-holds-barred match. Pinfalls or submissions have to happen in the ring. Apart from that, this match is anything goes. I have to admit, I'm a sucker for the traditional pinfall submission rules, but in a no-holds-barred match, tradition flies right out the window. Oh. Hard drag. Very nice. Uh-oh, ankle pick. Beautiful takedown. Oh, knee crusher. That's going to hurt. Ah, look at this. To the arm. What are we about to soon? That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. No clue what he hopes to find down there. And as a couple of Hall of Famers once said, it's time to get the tables. Setting foot in the ring now. Oh, nasty fall. The damage. Is it enough here? Oh, somehow. He's not letting fatigue set in or get the better of it. Nice Japanese arm drag. Chad has taken the... Oh, wrestling down. Line. It's cinched in. This could be... We're going to free the arm and does just that. And pat oh, slam! Corey, so many things can transpire in a matchup like this. What could be that elusive X factor? It is mission critical to be adaptable. If it's anything goes, then use that to your advantage before your opponent does. This is an environment where a competitor can be reminded real quick what goes around comes around. And you might be forced to revamp your strategy when you least expect it. Swing for the fences with a kendo stick. Send your opponent crashing through a table. Fight up the ramp. Whatever insanity you can come up with is fair game. Gallows. Look at the power of the gallows pole. Terrible position for Gable. superiority from Chad Gable keeping him in this match and it may just take going to the well one more time with that maneuver to gain the pinfall can Gable withstand much more of this Gallows is reaching that other level 
This one is headed outside, guys. Oh, boy, it's a baseball bat. Hoping to end this match with one big swing. Ooh. Oh, oh man. Might as well be in the batting cage now. Just one run after the other. Can't be stopped. That's how you wear down your opponent. Just cranking the head. Oh, putting focus on the arm here. Gallows is pressing the advantage hard now. You gotta wonder, what does this do to Gable's confidence? Out of the ring, what's his plan here? Yeah. Boom, a forearm smash! <laughs> Boom! Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. I guarantee you that chair is not going to be used as it was designed for. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. Yeah, as Gable once again proving just how effective the teachings of Alpha Academy can be. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Boom! Head first. Oh, ooh, stop to the tummy. Tummy? Uh-oh, ankle pick. Beautiful takedown. Oh, knee crusher. That's going to hurt. And now gets tossed into the ring. Uh-oh, he's searching for something. That shovel's going to cause extreme amounts of damage. Saving us from having to sit through that. forget about this win for a while. The winning attitude of Alpha Academy shined through in this one. <laughs>